27th week in ordinary time reflection faith lord increase our faith the disciples today is asking the lord to increase the faith my dear friends faith and belief are two different things so when it comes to belief belief is a temporary suspension of confirmation of facts until the facts are revealed you believe something but when it comes to faith it comes from the greek word pistos which means divine persuasion divine persuasion and for that persuasion man strengths response for that divine persuasion so that's exactly why faith is a gift so you you have some you are when you are connected to the holy spirit that you have that faith divine persuasion within you so this is why letter to timothy second letter of saint paul to timothy saying i remind you to fan into flame i remind you to fan that flame should be fan when you blow the wind to that flame the gift of god which is in you to the laying on of my hands so it is a gift faith is a gift of god so faith when it comes to faith you in 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 romans chapter 8 verse 20 24 it is said we are saved by hope not by deeds hope is something that we cannot see but then if we if we can if we how can we hope something that we can see so if you if you are hoping on something you wait upon it you have to wait that's exactly why in one in luke chapter 1 verse 45 elizabeth is saying about mother mary that you are blessed because you wait upon the promise until it is until it is, it is fulfilled so you read james chapter 5 verse 7 as a farmer wait for the rain after sowing you wait upon the lord so acts 14 also the lord is asking the disciples to wait in the in the in jerusalem until they receive the power from above so that's that's exactly the meaning of waiting so we read the first reading we take the first reading from the book of habakkuk and with the word meaning habakkuk means clinging i mean i mean he's a fighter where he's from the southern kingdom and he saw how how the northern kingdom is invaded by assyrians and now the persians are cruel than assyrians they are invading all the they were about to jerusalem and judea was about to be invaded by by babylonians so he was he saw this cruelty and then he asked lord why you bear this lord how long shall i cry for help and you will not hear or cry to you violence and you will not serve not save why do you make me see iniquity and why do you idly idle look at wrong destruction and violence are before me strife and contention arises so he had to wait my dear friends he has to wait he had to wait so when it comes to faith waiting is a must because you cannot see you read a secure you read hebrews chapter 12 chapter 11 verse 1 faith is the assurance of what you hope a certification of what you cannot see which is invisible so you wait upon it and romans chapter 10 verse 17 it is said faith comes by hearing hearing the word of god so that's important that you have a background that's exactly how timothy was brought up st paul is saying timothy that his mother his mother is eunice and grandmother is louis and he who had that their faith he was brought up in that faith and today st paul is encouraging him because he is a young minister like a warrior encouraging the student is instructing them 
for God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control when it comes to faith and you should not if there is fear there is no faith fear is contrary to faith so power love and self-control that's how the Lord is St. Paul is encouraging this young minister Timothy to do the mission my friends so in the mission you need faith that's exactly why the, today we find how, how the disciples came to the Lord and said, increase our faith. Increase our faith. It's not after multiplication of bread. It's not about raising Lazarus, raising Lazarus from the dead and raising Shalomi, the daughter of Jairus. Not, not after calming the storm. When Jesus taught them, he had to forgive seven times. And if some, something is provoking you to sin the gravity of that person who provokes someone to sin so they found it difficult they they they, they felt their scarcity the lack of their faith that's why lord increase our faith and the lord's response is alarming if you had faith like a grain of mustard seed mustard seed the example is brought, taken not only because it is small. Mustard, it, it, he could have taken a sand. No, mustard seed, not only small, it is, since it is a seed, it has life within. And there is a tree inside that seed. So once, one thing your faith should be tiny, small, but mighty. That it should have power. There should be a promising aspect, a growing process. There is life. So if you have the faith of mustard seed, you will, you will say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. My dear friends, it happens with the word, isn't it? You speak to this, it will happen. So faith, in faith why the lord is taking the example of a mulberry tree the roots are it is well rooted sometimes they used to build the houses away from the trees and uh, but when it comes to mulberry tree they take it far away from the tree because the roots are very very strongly rooted so which means you cannot uproot but the Lord is saying, no, you cannot put it. Think about how you use your faith to uproot your addictions, uproot your iniquities, uproot your memories, inferiority complex, all the fears, to uproot it and plant it in the sea, which is a salty ground. You cannot plant a tree there. The Lord is saying, but with the faith, with the faith you can do that. That inner persuasion of God. God is persuading you to have that. So you can have little faith and do that. And the Lord, then he says this parable. Who, who has a servant loving and keeping sheep? Say to him when he has come in from the field. Come you, come you see, I will serve you. No. Rather he will ask him to serve. Wait until the master had the dinner or lunch. My dear friends, when it comes to ministry, you need faith to be a minister like Timothy. Be a disciple felt it. But even in serving, my dear friends, there are two aspects. Serving in the field, outer, outer service. You go outside and then serving in the house. You have a field work and you have a place where you have to serve the Lord alone. No one is there. That's your personal prayer life. So here the master asks them to sit and wait. I will serve you. I so say, you see, you have to serve me. But then in exact sense, the Lord will sit with me in that inner chamber for the service. He will instruct. He will examine. He will tell what to do tomorrow. That intimacy in Matthew, in Mark chapter 3, verse 13, he went to the mountain and called, called all the disciples to be with him first. Like Martha, like Mary, to be with him, 
Then of course minister outside. Service inside and service outside. Your connection inside and your service outside. That's exactly the Lord is saying. You should not have, the master won't thank you. We should not expect anything. Vote to me if I don't preach. You are here to serve. For that service, you need faith. Like a mustard seed. It should grow. There should be life. Think about your connection with that faith. Amen. May God bless you.